In this video, I'm going to talk about IES light profiles and how to use IES lighting inside of Unreal. So, for many, many years, um, the architectural visualization industry and design visualization industry have taken advantage of something called IES light profiles to create more realistic, uh, photorealistic, and photometric lighting inside of uh, renderers like V ray and Mental Ray. I myself used to work in this field some years ago. But now, Unreal 4 gives us the power to use, take advantage of this technique that the ArchViz industry used to use and use it for game development, which is really cool. So um, I'm kind of excited actually to talk about this. This is a cool topic because um, I just love lighting. So if we look at this scene here, this example scene I've created, we have two lights side by side. They're both point lights. This first point light is typically what you would see in most games. So it's basically a simple kind of round light that throws light all around it in a circular or spherical radius. And this is typically what you see in most video games. It doesn't really look very realistic. It's pretty plain and kind of boring. There's just nothing really interested about it or interesting about it. And these are pretty useful, but now we're going to look at uh, basically what amounts to a photometric light. This light here is also a point light, same one as the other one, except we have these, this really interesting uh, banding, uh, shadowing, and shape to the light itself. And this is the way that light actually behaves in the real world. If you walk around in someone's apartment or your own apartment or house or an office building and you really look at the lights, lights don't look like point lights in video games. Lights look like this. They have all these interesting shapes. Um, and detail to them and that's because of the light bulb and the light fixture and all that stuff comes into play So let's look at the properties here for this light by looking at the details panel if you go down You can see that there's a light profile area in the details panel So let me show you how to do this from scratch. Let me go over here to the right. I'm gonna create a new point light Place an actor point light you could use a spotlight, but I strongly recommend you don't because spotlights have cone angles they can cut off the light profile prematurely and that's not what you want so the best type of light to use for this is a point light not a spotlight so let's go ahead and create that point light and at first it doesn't look very interesting it's a simple default point light I'm just gonna place it around here now if I open up the content browser and I'm using the ArchViz project from Epic which comes with one sample of an IES light profile. You can see it right there. If I want to bring in my own light profiles, what I can do is just import, same way as if I was importing anything else. Just find your file. These files are going to be of an extension called .IES because they're IES light profiles. So they're not textures, they're an actual data file. When you bring it in, it'll look like a texture because you'll see a little image. That's the thumbnail preview of the actual light profile, which is pretty cool that Unreal allows you to preview it with that kind of fidelity. So now what I can do is with the light selected, I can go to the light profile section, go to the IES texture slot, and I can go ahead and plug my IES profile. So I can drag and drop one from the content browser. and you'll probably get something like this where the light just won't seem to work it's actually working sometimes we just have to rotate and orient the light in the correct way so it works almost like a flashlight or a, or a spotlight kind of changes the behavior of the point light so the point light at, at first glance seems more like a spotlight so you have to actually point it in the correct direction so what you want to do is depending on what kind of IS light profile you have in this case this light profile has kind of like a wide base then it becomes dark at the top and then there's kind of a small sort of sliver of light that goes straight up which is pretty interesting more like a light used in a lamp uh, with a lampshade kind of occluding the light on the sides I'm also going to go ahead and lower the radius of this point light and move it down a little bit so you can see that this obviously has a much more interesting light profile than something like say a simple bland run-of-the-mill point light which is not going to look very interesting 
And you can rotate this around, try to get it to look the way that you want it to look, depending on your environment. I don't have a real environment here. I just have a cup, a wall and a floor set up. So it's not going to look very interesting. But if you were doing a, a, an actual environment, it, it'll definitely make your environment pop and look more interesting. Down here we have some settings. We could turn on the IS intensity. And then we can use this slider down here to control the intensity of the light. So when you do this, the uh, these IS light profiles not only contain data about how the light uh, behaves and looks, it also contains information about the luminance of the light itself. So that's pretty important. And if you want the IES light profile to control the brightness and the luminance of the light, you want to make sure you turn on that, that option checkbox for use IES intensity. And then use the IES intensity slider just below that to control the intensity of the light. And this creates very realistic lighting. Uh, in my opinion, it's some of the most realistic um, lighting that I've seen in any game engine. And I've been using quite a few in my career. So this is actually pretty cool. Okay, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, as for IES light profiles, one of the biggest questions that comes up is, well, where in the world do I get these IES light profiles? Do I make them in Photoshop or something like that? No, you don't make them. Um, if you jump on Google, do a quick search for IES light profiles download or something like that, you're gonna find tons and tons of websites, basically um, manufacturers, like Philips and different companies like that that make uh, lighting in real life will usually have uh, websites where you can go and you can view tons and tons, I mean hundreds and thousands of different IS light profiles and you can just download them for free. Um, I've never seen a website where they charge for them. All the websites I've ever seen, uh, they're available for free. So go download a whole bunch of zip files with IS light profiles and bring them into Unreal and start playing around and seeing what you can do with the cool new IS lighting in Unreal 4.